birthday, and then Amelia, we go 68 for Thursday or Sunday. How about that? Yeah, all signs that spring is trying to make its way into the area. Spring less than two weeks away. And really, Doug, we have to say the weekend not looking that bad. There's going to be plenty of clouds out there, but we're not dealing with wind chills in the single digits and teens at all. Here's what you can expect tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. We're at 33 degrees. So it is a cold start on your Saturday, but cloudy and dry. In fact, we're dry throughout the entire day tomorrow and a high temperature near 50 degrees. Normal highs now for us are in the low. 50. So we're getting closer there tomorrow. Overnight Saturday into early Sunday morning, we're going to have rain moving through the area. Once we hit 8 a.m. on Sunday, only a 40% chance that we're still dealing with some showers at this point. This second system already moving out of the area. We start off Sunday at 44 degrees and we warm to a mild 68 with some sunshine developing throughout the day. So most of our weekend is going to be dry. But here is the rain with future weather. This is 6 p.m. Saturday. We're still dry. Now, you're going to be out later Saturday, 9, 10 p.m. This is when rain moves into the area, so you might want to bring the umbrella. We continue to track rain overnight Saturday into Sunday morning, so you'll be able to hear it as you're sleeping. Maybe it wakes you up if you're a light sleeper. By 8 a.m., though, Sunday morning, this rain already pushing off to the east. Again, some sunshine develops, but we don't think we're going to have blue skies out there Sunday afternoon. If that does happen, we have a better shot at hitting 70 degrees. Exercise, though, that being said, is looking great both days. It's especially on Sunday. I would go skiing on Saturday. Our local resorts are still open. A little bit too slushy out there for me on Sunday with those temperatures. Get the car washed on Sunday, Doug. We're looking at pretty dry conditions out there next week. And also this weekend, mm -hmm. we spring forward and we lose that hour of sleep. Yeah, that's right. Lose that hour of sleep yeah. Sunday night into, or rather Saturday night into Sunday morning. So know that uh, 20 degree difference here as we get some nice warm air behind that rain. Again, rain Saturday night into Sunday, but both afternoons dry. 52 on Monday, 52 on Tuesday. Some really nice weather early next week uh, as we make our way towards uh, Thursday. A high temperature of 58. Up to 66 on Friday. Can't rule out a shower on Thursday. That's another storm system that moves in Thursday into Friday, bringing some cooler weather for next weekend. Great. Barbie, the world's most iconic doll, is turning 60 today, and Yay. she is aging well. In the six decades, Barbie's influence on pop culture continues to evolve. She has had more than 200 careers and has sometimes pushed boundaries for women. And in recent years, the doll has drawn criticism for a lack of diversity. But Mattel says Barbie is going to meet that challenge and become the most diverse doll line on the market. New this year, we have dolls that reflect uh, permanent disabilities. So for the first time ever, Barbie is in a wheelchair and she also has a prosthetic leg. The 60th anniversary Barbie collection will be highlighting six dolls from the different decades and the careers where women are still underrepresented. And this week, a dollar from every Barbie sold will go to the Dream Gap Fund, supporting organizations that level the playing field for girls. You know, when I was little, yeah. I had the very first Barbie. Yeah. She only had three careers. She could be a, uh, a nurse, she could be a stewardess, mm -hmm. or she could be a nightclub singer. The and that, yeah, and that black uh, kind of mermaid teacher. dress. No, a nightclub. Well, you can dress anywhere. But yeah. the three costumes you had for her as a career was a stewardess, a nurse, or a nightclub singer. Really? Yeah. We've come a long way. We have come. She's come a long way. I'm yes. the stuff my and, brothers as and have I, we. We tell you the stuff my brothers and I did that my sister's Barbies were in the Geneva Conventions. Okay. <laughs> All right. We don't. Barbie doesn't need a Me Too moment. Right Still now. doing penance okay. for that. All right. Okay. All right. This one we're not so much worried about. This one's a good one here. Well, most of us can still remember our first bicycle. Remember that? Remember how it represented your first taste of adolescent freedom. While kids have other ways to get around nowadays, there is one Arlington organization that is keeping freedom on two wheels alive, teaching kids everything from how a bike works to how to take it apart and rebuild it and build up themselves in the process in a special way. Pete Phoenix bikes this week's Harris's Hero. The tinkering, the rotating, it's all in a day's work here at Phoenix Bikes in Arlington, but you'd be surprised to learn the ranks of the mechanics here include more than adults, like 13-year-old uh, Caleb. After that, we need to check the brakes. And his 11-year-old brother, Alex. Uh, it's kind of fun to see how it works, what, what it's doing while I'm pedaling my feet. It's not as slippery. You're right. They're learning how to build bikes from the frame up. This free bike education program is...